Hello, my name is John Elder and I work for CAST Service. This video will talk about some of the more common faults you may experience from our hood control package. This will only cover control package faults, not VFD faults. VFD faults will be covered in a separate video. This video applies to software versions of 2.0 or higher. The software version is displayed on the circuit board display in the control package. Faults will appear on the display on the front of the hood or on the door of the control package. This display is also called the HMI. The fault will flash on the HMI and the HMI will give an audible alarm that can be muted by pressing the mute button. As I said earlier, I will only cover the most common faults that occur. I will cover the following. Fire, missing temp sensor, broken temp sensor, B1 energized, B1 de-energized, and overload tripped. So if the fault you have is not covered or you need more detailed explanation, you can refer to the manual for a complete list of faults, email support at castservice.com, or call 1-866-784-6900 for more assistance. When calling for assistance, be sure to have your job number from the control package handy. Almost all of the faults covered by this video occur when the control package is first powered up. The first is not a fault at all, but the HMI will say fire and you will have no control. This means the control package is in fire mode and is either not wired to the hood fire system, not wired correctly, or the hood fire system is not in the armed position. Watch the other video titled Fire System Microswitch Wiring for more information. Another common fault that's usually seen at startup is a temp sensor fault. The first being missing temp sensor. The HMI will show this fault and give you a sensor number. Refer to the wiring diagram on the door of the control package to find out information about the temp sensor and its location. The second sensor fault is broken temp sensor. This fault indicates that the sensor is shorted to ground. More often than not, the sensor is not the problem. Usually the problem occurs when the sensor wiring is shorted to ground. Inspect all the wiring thoroughly before condemning a sensor. We also have a video specific to temp sensors titled Temp Sensor Wiring. The next fault is B1 energized or de-energized. Terminal B1 is the hot leg for the hood lights as well as the feedback signal into the control board. If the hood lights are turned on and the control board does not see the 120 volt feedback signal at terminal B1, it will show B1 de-energized fault. Possible causes are a bad lighting relay, RD1, or faulty or loose wiring. Likewise, if the hood lights are turned off and the control board continues to see 120 volts at B1 terminal, it will show a B1 energized fault. Possible causes for this would be bad lighting relay, incorrect wiring, or if the electrician wired in a separate lighting circuit to B1. The last fault I'm going to cover is an overload tripped. This fault can occur in the control packages that have motor starters and is usually due to some type of motor or power problem. This fault is most often seen after some type of power problem in the building. The overloads have a trip indicator on the front and resetting the overload by pressing the black R button usually resolves the fault. But if not, it's best to call for service. A fault history is stored in the control board and can be viewed by pressing the up or down button until the display reads faults. Press the enter button to view the faults and then up or down to scroll through a list of faults. For more information on this topic or any other questions, please call 1-866-784-6900 or email support at castservice.com.